YouTube team keep it clean good afternoon what's going on it's engraving here a hot engraving here with another video that's what happens when you, you live in South Florida and the AC in your car does not work so when it's hot the AC just won't it won't work but when it's cooler it'll be it'll work a little better but anyway um team keep it clean Cheeseburger, Link Craft, what's going on? LeBron James, Jay Frank, everybody, man, y'all came through fast. What's up, man? Appreciate everybody. Joe Flacco, what's going on? Um, but everybody, Jay Money, everybody, thank you for coming through. Uh, right here, I just wanted to talk about some of the Ravens rosters, roster moves uh, that they made so far. And it is not over yet. Um, I just wanted to talk about some of the, the main people. Some people we already knew were getting cut, but some of the main people that aren't really a surprise that they got cut, but they got released anyway. Um, but first, before we get into that, let me introduce myself. Me, I'm Engraving Vids. This is my YouTube channel, Engraving Vids, and I'm a Ravens fan. So we talk about Ravens on here all the time, all the time, all the time. Um, and if you're a fan of the Ravens, make sure you subscribe. But we also talk about all 32 NFL football teams. So if you're a fan of any one of the 32 teams that's in the NFL, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss any of these videos when we go live like this. And also make sure you leave a like on the video. It's 17 people in here, but it's only five likes. That, that don't even sound right. It's 17 people in here chilling right now. We watching this video talking, but it's only five likes. Y'all make sure y'all click that thumbs up button. It takes less than half a second to do it. Um, but anyway, and if you want to follow on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram, all three are engraving vids. Same as the YouTube channel. Now, um, some more notable names, the guys that we know we're familiar with and whatnot. Thank you. Okay, some guy let me go. That was very nice of him. Or was he just talking to this other truck? Either way. Um, some more notable names that we are familiar with that got cut. Um, Kanan Reynolds, wide receiver from Navy, who they drafted last year in like the 6th or 7th round. Um, he was some guy that last year, he had a lot of hype around him, but he was, uh, he was a quarterback in college, but he was transferring to wide receiver. That's a pretty big change. Um, but some people, if they just, if they're a football player, they're a football player. But for him, it was taking him a little longer to, uh, to really make that transition. It was taking a little longer for everything to click. Um, so they said he didn't he didn't really look too good last year. He didn't look comfortable last year um, So he ended up not making the 53 man and he ended up making the practice squad so then This year comes back around after a year being on the practice squad uh, he had another opportunity to try to make the 53 man roster as He wasn't really gonna do anything as a wide receiver But more so as a return man like a, a punt returner because not even a kick returner and in the first preseason game, he showed a nice he showed a nice little punt return. So that's when a, a lot of people, including myself, were like, oh, okay, is this the Keenan Reynolds that we're going to see? Is this going to be him? But then from that point on, he had just been, he'd been quiet. He had been quiet. Um, so, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, I'm sure he's probably going to be on the practice squad again if he's going to be one of the, I believe, what, you can keep seven or ten players on the practice squad. I forget. I honestly forgot. Um, but he's he's gone now. Or he's he's gone from he's not gonna make the 53 man active roster that we know. Um, so what's up, Markel? Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll see what happens with Keenan Reynolds soon enough. Now somebody else who we traded it for so had him on a three year deal, released him. Oh no no no, we traded for him and had him on a three year deal. He played out two of the three years. No, he played out three years. I forgot how much he played. But anyway, traded for him originally and then traded him to another team. That team released him. So then we picked him up and now we released him again. That being Mr. Jeremy Zuda. Y'all, make sure y'all leave a like on the video. There's 20 people in here but only nine likes. Let's fix that. But um, Jeremy Zuda, the center. So originally we, we traded for him from Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I believe. He was pretty decent the first year then it started just going downhill and then uh we wow some people just do stupid stuff then we traded him to the 49ers to move up a couple of draft spots 49ers said hey this guy's terrible ravens you, you usually trade us better stuff than this like with anquan bolden obviously 
But y'all gave us this Jeremy Zuda guy. He's terrible. So he got released from the 49ers. And you know how much roster problems they going through. And for him to be released from there, it's like, okay, wow. So then he's a free agent. So Baltimore has all these injuries along the offensive line. He comes back to a system he knows. He comes back to people he knows. He comes back to personnel that he knows. And he gets cut again. I thought after the, after last night's game, I remember especially watching it on that, that play that we talked about in the uh, in our post-game stream. The play that really got him cut <laughs> happened last night uh, against backup defensive linemen, not starters, and I think it was like third stringers. Um, he, he got straight pushed back. It was a passing play. Uh, Thaddeus Lewis dropped back. I, I'm not sure if it was a play action or not. I don't remember, but it doesn't even matter. Uh, he dropped back, and if you watch the replay, Jeremy Zuda literally got pushed back. It looked like Jeremy Zuda. What's up, Devin? It looked like Jeremy Zuda didn't even have cleats on, but he had skates on because the way he slid back. He just got pushed back, 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 and that defensive tackle said, move out my way. Grabbed Thaddeus Lewis and knocked the ball out of, out of Thaddeus Lewis' hands, and that was the end of Jeremy Zuda. I think even during that play, I think he knew, like, okay, that's a wrap for me. I'm I'm done. I'm done here in Baltimore. He must have knew then. That's why they didn't even give him his old number back because he knew. He knew. I think Bam Bradley has it, the linebacker. I forgot who has number 53 now. But that's why they didn't, they didn't even bother giving him his number back because he had to earn it. And he earned, he earned the fact that his number got called this morning. Um, so Jeremy Zuda is out of there. He's gone. Now, I know the Ravens, they traded for some uh, some offensive lineman from the Cardinals. Uh, I think he's like 31 or 32 years old. I forgot his name, but it's more of a depth guy. They said the guy can play any position on the offensive line, which is good. Hopefully, we don't have to see him because that would mean somebody else got hurt. But um, I'm just, I'm hoping every, everything will pan out. I'm hoping everything pans out. And it's still been, it's, it's still been some other trades for, from some other teams that we're going to talk about in another video. But, um... I told y'all, like I said this morning, stuff, some stuff is going to get crazy. And it's going to be some people from your favorite teams that end up getting traded, get cut, get whatever, and they'll be gone. They'll be as good as gone. Um, so just got to keep, just got to stay tuned. Just got to stay tuned. Now that covers, I mean, and then some other people got cut. Uh, some names I don't even remember. I remember Trevin Wade, though. Um, Thaddeus Lewis got cut. Oh, Lorenzo Talafiero. He is somebody who, I was saying it last night, I didn't think he was going to make the team anyway. Um, so he's not a surprise. He was trying out his fullback because at running back, I guess they felt like they were stacked. And he was a fullback now. Or he's trying to be a fullback now. He played a little running back now still too. Um, and he's somebody that when he first came on, I liked him. I liked Lorenzo Talafiero. I felt like um, the way that he ran and just his body type, um, he reminded me of uh, Jamal Lewis. Um, and just... Just with his feet work too, because I know some that would frustrate some people about Jamal Lewis, that he had this little stutter step, that he would uh he would he would go to the line of scrimmage, they would hike the ball, give it to him, and he would have this little stutter step where he was waiting for that hole to to, to break free, and that that same thing is what uh, Lorenzo Talafiero had, but I guess the Ravens didn't see Jamal Lewis in him, um so he got cut too, man. Yeah, we talked about Keenan Reynolds already. We talked about him. Um, and we talked about uh, Jeremy Zuda. So, yeah, Lorenzo Talafiero, out of there. He's gone. He's gone. So, who's going to be next? Oh, Keenan Reynolds was your favorite, really? Okay, that's what's up, man. I'm sure he might, he might end up on a practice squad again. But who's going to be next? So, now you got to think about the wide receivers. You know Perryman's going to be there, Mike Wallace and Jeremy Macklin. Those dudes are locks. So now it gets interesting. Who else do you keep? Because Chris Moore ain't such a lock. Mizell, did, did Taquan Mizell get cut? I don't think he got cut yet. I, I'm. That's another tricky one too. Because Danny Woodhead is hurt. What are they gonna put him on injured reserve? Or are they gonna wait for him to actually uh, get all the way healthy? What are they gonna do with that? That's a big question. Um, but back to receiver, you got Chris Matthews. Um, Tim White is on injured reserve. Uh, so they put Tim White on injury reserve. They put Alex Lewis on injury reserve. They put Nico Saragusa on injury reserve. They put um, Tavon Young on injury reserve. They put, I believe they put Kennedy on injury reserve too. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I got to look at the list again. 
I got to do like a little refresher. But I know they, they threw a, they threw a, quite a few people on injury reserve. No surprises. Just all the people that we knew. Crockett Gilmore. Um, they threw all the people that we knew about on injury reserve. Um, but I don't... Oof. We got to do another video right now. Um, but anyway. Yeah, that's, that's that. That is that. Um, so, looks like Brock Osweiler just got cut. So... Hey, I appreciate that, Matt. Yeah, Moses, I just saw that. We about to do a video on that right now. So I appreciate y'all. I'll see you in literally maybe a minute. I, I'm going to try to catch this video at this light. Bye.